Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Movie Star Entrepreneur Show. I am your host, Marshall Wayne. I have been reading Larry King's new book, My Remarkable Journey, and there's one part where he said when he was just starting out, he was in Palm Beach, Florida, uh, on the radio, or that's where he was working. And he and his buddies that also worked at the radio station or that came down to visit him either way, decided to go and drive down and check out all the rich homes, right? There's a lot of rich and famous people that live there. And so as they're gawking at all the houses, he looks up and he realizes he hit somebody in the back, you know. So that person was stopped at the stop sign and Larry hit him. It was only like 10 miles an hour, so it wasn't a big deal. But the person got out and Larry said he rec sort of recognized the guy. Uh, wasn't quite sure, but he was pretty sure he recognized him. The guy, Larry said, hey, what can I do? Do I need to pay for the damages? And the guy said, no, don't worry about it. It's tiny little scratch, no big deal. But I want you to promise me something. He said, raise your right hand, all of you. And so they thought, okay, I'll raise my right hand. And the, the guy said, promise me that next year, when my name is on the ballot for president, you'll vote for me. And that's when it clicked in Larry's head. The guy standing in front of him was John F. Kennedy. So, I thought that was an extraordinary story because I'm a huge presidential buff. My mother had always bought me books on presidents as a child instead of books on, I, I, don't, I don't even know what, child, Goosebumps, I guess, is a childhood book. Um, you know, I read my Dr. Seuss's and stuff like that, but I mean when I got a little older, you know, middle school. So, Larry took it as almost like a, uh, he's not a religious man, but... I think everybody kind of likes to read the signs of life, right? And he thought, man, what an interesting thing to have happen to me when I'm just starting out on my journey in the radio world. I already met one of the most interesting people um, that there are. Who knows who I might meet from here? So I just thought I'm going to put uh, other little interesting things below, uh, pit photos of famous people meeting famous people, like icons meeting icons that I thought were pretty interesting, like uh, Frank Sinatra and Kennedy, or Bill Clinton and Kennedy, uh, obviously I have a Kennedy infatuation, or uh, George H.W. Bush and Babe Ruth, when George H.W. Bush was at Yale, uh, the captain of the, of the baseball team at Yale, he met George Bush, uh, or Elvis and Nixon, right? Things like that, I enjoy things like that. Um, share me your stories of famous people you've met. I like those stories, they're cool. And what you thought of them. Did you, did you think they're less cool than what you may have thought? Uh, my experience has always been um, they're not as interesting as what they are on TV, but I'm never surprised by that because, listen, when I do a video, you know, for a product, I'll take 20 takes so that you might think I'm amazing on camera, but when you meet me in person, it's not as polished, obviously. That's just how it's going to be, so I understand that with my own life, it's obvious that it would be like that with uh, movie stars or politicians where they get to really package themselves when we see them on TV, but in person, they're people, you know, smart people, uh, good at what they do, but still people. So anyway, let me know uh, people you've met, uh, what you thought of it. See you guys.